How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're going to be gapping the shit out of out. No, I'm joking. Today we're going to be uh, taking the Supra to Tuner Evo. We're not in the show. We're just going to go and take a look at the builds. Uh, we haven't been to an official car show in quite some time. We've just been hitting cars and coffees and these trash ass late night meets. So we're going to take this with the new wrap. We'll go see what kind of builds there are. Alex will be taking his SC300 which now has a Granis Racing T56. Yeah. So he's ready to turn it up once he gets a blow off valve. So that'll be cool. But we're just gonna see, like I said, what kind of builds there are. And I'll, I'll be nice. I'm not gonna go there trying to hate on everything. So I'll, I'll just give my honest opinion and I'll just look at the builds for what they are and just say what I think. If you guys haven't seen the reveal video on the new wrap, go check it out. I mean, obviously you guys are seeing it right now, but check out the video. You can see exactly what they did and all the little details of it. But anyways, now that she's ready, let's go. Get a little start up real quick. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go see what kind of builds there are. First things first, got to get that good old E85. That way we got actual E85 and not E60 no more. Let's do a baby one. A little baby one. structure but the cool thing is the parking structure is like car meet part two so as we're walking through we'll see if we see anything cool we'll see if we see any eye-catching builds mammy do you think it's gonna be a good show or not fun fact mammy and i our first meetup or date was at tuner evo almost four years ago thank god they saved us a couple spots they were like hey we know drew peacock's coming we'll save him a couple spots because i don't know if i would have been able to park um, no, I'm, just, I'm joking. Anyways, um, yeah, we found some, some cute little cubby spots right here. Hey, back up a little bit more. I want to get it like perfect for like a photo or something. But yeah, we found like the perfect set of spots right here. Just kind of tucked away. We don't got to worry about people dinging our shit. A little bit more. Right there. Perfect. And the little red and blue combo. Little little red and blue action. Spider-Man Spider combo. Yeah. Straightened it out really quick. We'll do a quick little photo shoot because it's like... Ooh, the colors, they're working together great. So after that, we'll head inside. Big ass Whoa. intercooler and an aggressive tire set up on the SRT4. If the insides are like that, I think we'll be good. And then we saw this Audi rolling in. Yeah, this Audi. in front of you? No, I'm just saying when we pulled up and we were parking, we saw it and it's, I mean, it's super clean. Like, like I'm saying, like if this is out here, I wonder what's going to be inside. All right, we just got in. We've seen him before at Cars and Coffee. A thousand horsepower capable if he got his transmission it'll actually put it down now i think he was waiting on a sequential but i remember talking to him thousand horsepower capable so we've seen it before but it's cool to see it again especially in some nice lighting i need an intake manifold like that i need a reservoir like that or a catch can and he needs a filter <laughs> but other than that this thing is crazy look at the duct your next build what do you think yeah right <laughs> All right, uh, should we start on, I guess we could start in this lane. It's a lot bigger than I remember. Bigger circle. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll just go up and down. We'll, we'll just farm it up and down every aisle. All right, clean Z. A little bit of a hood gap. The Z itself goes pretty clean. I like the carbon front end, carbon mirrors. Rom seats. Nardi wheel. Carbon rear? Damn, there's a lot of carbon on this car. I like the hatch. I like the carbon, uh, the, 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 the what's it called? It's called a hatch, right? Probably. Or lift back, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It looks fucking sweet, though. It looks sweet. It's got a little bit of a, a bolt-on flare style, like you. I think you saw maybe a couple of your posts. This is way possible. <laughs> but no, this thing is fucking nice. And then we got some bulk wheels. This thing is clean. Dude, already. Just two back-to-back -back very clean cars. Now we got Fresh Kicks 350Z right here. Just as clean in person as it is in the videos. I don't know how much power it makes, but I feel like it'd be a fun run in either the Supra or the Mustang. 
think it's like upper 900 or something. Upper 900? Yeah. Uh, it'd be a Mustang run for sure. That's his? That's Fresh Kicks, yeah. Oh, it looks like way darker on, like, on his Instagram. Really? It oh, it's Nardo. So, no, it looks clean. I like it. I think my favorite thing is the rear, the rear half of it. Big old balloon slick. That, that one just never gets old. And, and he's got the power to back it up, so it's, it ain't just for show. The wrap on this car is making it very hard to see what's actually like going on underneath it. Wide body. I mean, it has Liberty Walk stickers. He's got confetti seats, just like me in the, in the Civic. I didn't want to bump into the girl. The stickers on the back, I mean, I guess you got to put them somewhere. He doesn't really have a rear window. This thing is actually kind of sick. Okay, I didn't like the front end, but I do like the rear end. The rear end of it is actually really nice. I like it. Fitment and everything, too, on point. Very sharp, very clean, very wide. Clips is actually really clean with the fitment on this. RPF1s, he's got some little aero package going on. RPF1s look really nice on it. I mean, it's a, it's a decent looking wheel on any car, but the fitment that he executed, the fitment is great. You don't see many clean eclipses. You definitely don't, not, not anymore. What size RPF1s are these? Are these 18s or 19s? They're 18s, okay, they look bigger than what they are. They look like 19s, but this is a very clean eclipse. When was the last time you saw a clean eclipse? Okay. It's been a minute, right? Gosh, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it in my recent cars and coffee video, but Porsche looks good in any color, like any color, even this color. This one has your name all over it, Mammy. What do you think? No, you don't like this one? I think was, this one's pretty cool. It's got the SSR. Look at how deep. Look at how deep that wheel is. What size tires are you running back here, just to give us an idea? It's not like it's a stretch tire, anyways. It's a. Uh, it's only a 275, never mind. I mean, it's still a big wheel, but that's super deep. The offset is crazy on that. It's a 275. Oh, I was expecting offset. more, yeah, the offset's really helping it, but all the air suspension back here, little cage. You can actually see the motor under. I mean, that's a nice looking uh, Cayman. Very nice. I think my favorite has to be like the carbon diffuser type thing. I mean, it's not really a diffuser, but the rear bumper and like the wing setup, I know it's a bit much, but it's uh, it, it works for this car. Check out the wheels on this thing. I have never seen wheels like that before. Never. Those things are like, I mean, they look like almost like sewer drains. It looks like a, a sewer cap. God, giant quad exhaust. All right, this is a little bit goofy. This one's a little bit goofy. From Arizona, the carbon, I, the, the little like clear translucent blue on the taillights, kind of asking to get rear-ended. But there's a lot of carbon on the car. The Lambo doors, the whole interior looks all specked out with the matching rose gold. There's some things I do like, and there's some things I don't like. Uh, the exhaust in the rear kind of kills it for me. But maybe you guys like that. Let me know what you guys think. But this guy, uh, would you guys consider this rice or nice? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, underneath the hood looks like a polished up intake and that's it. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I mean, there's a lot of little detail in there, but I'm seeing like exhaust and an intake and that's it. And just like a dress up kit. See right here is actually really clean. Cosmos wheels, carbon fenders, carbon hood, angry eyelids, hood latches. I wish the hood was popped so we could see what's underneath it, but it's actually clean too. It's gotta be on air suspension because he is super low. Um, and the car's way too clean to be static. This, I think this might be one of my favorite Z's so far. I just wish his, his rear light setup was a little bit polished and cleaned up because the lenses look a little rough, but overall, I mean, this is a nice looking Z. So far, this is a good ass, good ass car show. This thing's kind of cool. I know, you like these big body cars. I do not like these big body cars. It's got your name all over it. Next build, here you go. Yeah. All right, Mammy, what do you think about this one? Which one needs a wrap. Needs a wrap? It looks too empty. Well, you see here, it's supposed to make you underestimate what he's got done to it. I mean, I'm hoping, I mean, we'll try to peek through that grill in a second, but he's got carbon doors, carbon hood, giant balloon slicks, chopped bumper. The interior looks like it's set up for racing, but does he have what it takes? Do I see an intercooler anywhere? Let's try to peek, let's try to get a glance. I'm gonna probably say no. I see the intake sticking out right there and that does not make sense for a turbo setup. It could be a supercharger setup, but I would still, I think I'd still see an intercooler somewhere. So I think it's just a bolt-on, probably a bolt-on HR with extreme weight reduction. But even then, like, uh, I don't know if, it, if the power matches what's going on. I mean, that's the, that door alone is probably $2,000. And then we, I just see an intake right there. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Okay, so I looked through the wheel well and I think I see the intake pipe. I think it just has an intake. I mean, obviously it could have other supporting mods. 
unless there's a turbo back here. I'm not seeing it, dude. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I, yeah, full bolt on tune. Yeah, it literally says right there. I mean, I guess that's cool if you're trying to be like the fastest Z with full bolt on and everything. That's cool. I mean, that works, but that's a, that's a crazy tire setup, crazy carbon setup for full bolt ons. But not everyone's trying to be the fastest one out there, so it totally works. All right, so we were just inspecting this cool Subi right here, full carbon. If I had to guess how they did it, I would say the pieces that they couldn't get carbon, it's just a custom carbon overlay onto it. So it's all real carbon, it's not carbon wrap, but like, you, I don't think you can buy a quarter panel and roof and all this stuff for this car. So I think they just had someone custom make and form the carbon to the car, which is still, like it's still cool, um, but it's not like a, a real full carbon car, you know what I'm saying? Like it is, but it isn't, but it is, but it isn't. I mean, it's still very cool. Let me know what you guys think though. Is it wasted money or would you guys think it's worth it to make a full carbon Subi. I mean, it's still a very clean car and uh, obviously a lot of money went into it, but let me know what you guys think though. Would you guys do this? Is it worth it? Let me know your opinion down below. All right, uh, a decent example of an NA Miata. One I absolutely don't hate right off the bat. The wrap looks pretty trippy. It's like a yellow pearl with white. Very, very subtle yellow in it though. The interior looks nice. We got Sparco seats. Um, Great aftermarket shifter, which is really good on the placement right next to the steering wheel. I mean, this looks like it's a pretty good track car. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that someone full sends this. It's almost too nice to track. All right, this has to be the worst bumper I think I've seen so far. Look at how far that thing is sticking out. That bumper, is, it's like, it's like it got a, a bad lip injection session. It, it looks like it's got a botched surgery. This thing is, yeah, I don't know about that bumper. This is so far the first car that I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, everything else is kind of okay on it if you're into that, but with the bumper just... At every angle, it looks horrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You gotta check out what's underneath the hood on the Type R. HKS intake, a lot of carbon fiber, titanium piping, blow-off valve, uh, HKS one, it looks like, yeah, it is. I mean, okay, we got, we, we got some stuff going on here. Got a custom painted valve cover. Okay, all right. Where's your titanium, Alex? Um, it's in my bank account. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got aftermarket motor mounts. It looks like that's some sort of coolant reservoir. It looks like an aftermarket radium coolant reservoir, which actually looks really nice. He's got a lot of aftermarket stuff going on. Uh, let's let's check out his interior. Oh, gutted, gutted the rear out. Left in the Type R seats. It is a manual with an aftermarket shifter, also in titanium. Whole lot of titanium going on on this thing. And it looks like he is also ready for the track with his wheel and tire setup. This thing looks like it's uh, ready to go. This thing looks like it's ready to scream and hopefully he solved the overheating issue of the Type R's. Then, there you go. That's a much better exhaust setup, in my opinion, than the Tri-Tip. Those giant fart cans. I'm not trying to be rude by calling them fart cans, but I think that looks a lot nicer than the Tri-Tip. That just looks 10 times better. Although, I don't think they're perfectly symmetrical, but whatever. Now, personally, I think I should have wrapped the Supra like that. What do you think? The McLaren, yeah, maybe, maybe all of them, just a matching set. Like that, I think that would uh, it would definitely stand out. I do kind of like the little like RGB lighting. You like did it like cleanly. You know, it's not like neon underglow. It's like it's the LGBTQ lighting. My bad. Um, he did it like it, it's clean the way he did it. He did it integrated into the lip and the side skirts. It's not just blasting on the floor, kind of like that. You know, so I gotta give him props on that. He did do that kind of clean. Like if you guys look, like this is this is difficult. That ain't that ain't something you can just buy. You know, that's custom made right there. So, and then we got a bunch of uh, carbon underneath the hood. So, I mean, honestly, if, if you just got rid of the wrap, I mean, again, this could be your guys' style, it's not mine, but if you just put a different wrap on this thing, this thing would actually be really, really clean, you know? And you could turn off the lights whenever you want, so just ignore those. We also got it super VIP'd out in here. The wine glasses, we got the diamond stitching. We got the TVs. Oh, an exhibit? Exhibit here? Got the, got the TVs? All right, Alex. I found your competitor. Yeah, we're, right. Right. we're gonna bet him five grand out of your bank account, no. and you're gonna give him the hit too. No, I'm joking, dude. This thing is crazy. Look at the welds in the rear. Those things. That's business right there. That's all business. Carbon interior. God, this thing. This thing gets down. It's a BMW, Drew. It's a BMW. Ah, uh, 
Oh, that's a Supra. This is as Supra as it gets. Sorry, that, that's a Supra. Look at that thing. Look at the slicks. It's so much I mean I could beat my meat to it. Not only welds in the rear, but BBS three pieces up front. This thing has got some money dumped into it. Oh, and you can kind of see through the hood. Giant vent right behind the, uh, the radiator, just how it should be. This thing's got some money. All right, Mammy, what do you think? It looks like it's Bondo. It looks like Bondo? Well, I mean, it's just a wrap. The wrap is supposed to look, you know, used like that. But I think it's okay. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not the, the, a huge fan of the whole, like, distressed look. But I think the body kit itself is fine. It's my twin. I know, same hood as me. Although he wrapped it the way I definitely would not have. By just cutting a hard line right there. Yeah, that's, that's not the way I would have done it. The forged carbon lip is kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Um, work wheels. It's literally like my twin, although it is a target top. Also has a nice tire setup. TRD wing. A lot of you guys want to see me get a TRD wing for mine, but... Personally, I just like the OEM one a lot more. I like the OEM wing. The TRD works. But it's a little bit too boxy. Like I said, it just doesn't follow the body lines of the car as well. But maybe in the future, I'll pick one up. All right, I think we found the nicest supercar here. Liberty Walk kit. We got Shoe Race. I believe this one's twin turboed. I would I would expect it from the Shoe Race crew. Let's see if we can see him. Oh, yeah, I can see him. You can see the, uh, the blankets in there. So, yeah, twin turboed, Liberty Walk, Huracan. Oh, my God. Like, it's almost too nice to drive. Which is probably why it's at a show, but I mean, like, I would imagine this thing's got over, you know, a million, not a million. I would bet this thing has over like half a million just dumped into the car, if not more. Probably more, honestly, depending on what spec her con it is. This thing is crazy. All right, I don't think we've ever seen a clean 8.6 on the channel, but here we go. We have a clean 8.6. We got Volk Rays as the wheels. We got a little bit of a wide body flare. It's got a body kit on it, and I think this is the nicest. 8.6 we've ever seen. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Is it? Is it not? Like, take a look at the fitment. Take a look at the paint. Take a look at everything. This thing is just screaming quality. And then he's got bride all over the insides. He even did the rears. This is nice. And those harnesses are mounted safely. Look at that. They're not mounted straight to the floor, which is great to see. So if this guy ever is in an accident, he's not going to die. All right, so this might trigger some people, but I believe this is a fake cup car. And I'm going to show you why. Let's just walk around the car really quick. We got Recaro's inside. We have aftermarket wheel or maybe even the cup car wheel. I love the duct back here, the intake that just goes straight into there. That looks sick. Big ass wing, helmet, nice wheel and tire setup. Great looking exhaust setup. Now you might be saying, Drew, why are you saying it's fake? Because I'm 99% sure cup cars did not come with a sunroof. Not even GT cars come with a sunroof, so I'm just I'm just betting that it's not. If you know, comment down below. I am willing to admit that I'm wrong. If I am, I am a man, but I'm pretty sure it's a fake cup car. It's still a clean Porsche, and it's a really good example of a cup, cup car, but I don't think it is. I think that right there is a dead giveaway, but comment down below if you know. Check this thing out right here. We got HREs on the old Porsche. This might be one of the more expensive parts of the episode. I mean, this thing is, I'm holding my camera with two hands because I don't want to touch it. It's an aftermarket. It looks like it's got a full swap in it, which is also fully customized and fully like blinged out. You got all the titanium. You got a giant intercooler in the back. You have the AEM dash. Oh my God, this thing is, like, dude, this is a really good car show. Like, I'm at a loss of words for how nice these cars are in this episode. But look at the interior of this thing. This thing is crazy. Check out the work done to this Super right here. Twin turbo still, all the titanium, all the pie cuts, literally everywhere. I mean, there was a simpler way to do that, but that looks cool too. Look at all the pie cuts, look at all that. Here we go, the body and the paint, everything is clean. Three piece wheels, probably not enough tire for the car. Anyways, guys, that is all I got for you for today. I actually filmed a lot more cars, but the music was just getting so unbearably loud that it didn't turn out as good. I think we got most of the good ones anyways. Let me know which car was your favorite down below. Turns out, there's still some pretty good cars here in SoCal. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can fuck the video with everyone else. And until next video, peace.